Alright guys, G Dog Casey is back. And looks like I got here just in time for a pretty big hand and Matt lost it because of the flush. That's bad luck. But um you know, he can take it. Um, this is video number three. I was raping it up uh, on video number two. I'm just hoping to see if it'll uh, keep going here. Wasn't too bad. I, I joined the table with a dollar and ninety cents, and I'm up to seven twenty-eight. Fully expect a bet, yeah. Uh, it's only two cents, that's surprising. I don't care, I'm not gonna call it anyway. That probably means that he had the eight or something. You know, his usual style is to come out firing no matter what he's got, so with a small bet, um, it was probably, yeah, see here he says, you guys suck. He could have even had the full house. Oh, he flopped the set, he had the eight. Or maybe the 10, I don't know. I'll ask. He had ace 8. Jack five of s spades. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna play this hand. I don't think that needs any explanation. start I know I said this before um, I'm gonna start checking out some of these players and just trying to see what what they like to play with so I can label them um, unfortunately everybody's limping a lot in this hand three people limped well I mean I guess uh, the two guys here limped and then this guy was in a big blind so I mean kind of hard to to judge people when they're limping here we go have a raise but everyone folds Ace nine, you know, everyone likes to limp. I'm under the gun. Um, usually, pretty bad play, but I mean, I'm not too worried about this table. You know, as I kind of predicted so far, anyway, we have just limpers behind me. With me limping, it kind of gives them the option to limp. You know, the more limpers there are, the better choice it is to limp yourself, unless you have a, a raising hand. Um, you know, the thing that sucks about limping is you allow all sorts of different hands in here. So if I were to raise, you know, um, buddy over here, or like Matt, trying to pretend that he has the king, you know, he might have it. I'm going to call, though, just to, you know, try to get him off it. Now that I see this other king here, I I'm thinking he doesn't have it. Um, with the 10, you know, He's probably going to try to re-raise me, he'll just call and muck his cards. I don't know.
Um, I'd like to play. I'm I'm gonna cool it a little bit right now though. <coughs> you know, I'm gonna want to actually show an, a good hand now because I've been, you know, c calling with marginal hands like Ace Nine, and now they see that I play those hands. So <coughs> the next hand that they see, I want it to be a good one. You know, I wonder what Matt's getting. It's justifying all these raises. It's like he's getting a good hand every time. But, you know, the uh, widely known proper strategy to um, play against somebody who's very aggressive, like Matt, is to play tight. You know, I'll only get involved in most pots, at least pre-flop with him if he's raising, if I have a good one. Um, I mean, every once in a while I'm gonna mix it up and I'm gonna play like a 9-8 against him, maybe a re-raise, you know? Just to screw with his head. And it's not like his style's not working. It's working on these other guys. So far in this session it hasn't been working on me. But that doesn't matter. He's not playing against me. He's playing against the whole table. And uh, he hasn't lost too much. You know, if it wasn't for the couple hands that he got locked up with me where I hit the straight flush, then I think he'd still be up. I'm going to call the 8 cent raise with King Jack just because it's like, it just seems that it always hits on the flop or it hits and it ends up being the best hand. So we got three people in the flop and there we go, I hit the jack. It just seems like that happens like a lot. Although I do have the diamonds to to worry about. Um eight. Eight cents. I'm gonna raise it. Because I don't want him to to catch his flush for free, if that's or for cheap anyway, if that's what he's chasing. Um, he's saying down here, okay, take it all. I think he's gonna push me. All right, you know what? I'll call, whatever. And he's got the flush draw. But I actually held up. Just gonna take a quick look here. Actually, you know what? I'll just wait. This video is gonna be over in a minute. Um, I have one more hand to play, and I'll limp as well as everybody else with a seven. It's nice when you limp with a hand like this, and then the flop comes up like a seven or seven seven ace. I mean, it happens every once in a while, and it's pretty nice. Um, you know, as usual, this pot is only eight cents right now. I have two cents invested. It's not worth me raising to try to steal it right now. So if he wants to bet at it, like fine, I'm just gonna fold, and uh, you know, not not be involved in it anymore, not have to worry. And with that, I'm going to stop this video and start up a new one. <coughs>